I never ever thought this day would come. I never imagined that I would ever even consider thinking this or dreaming of this or believing that I would ever spew this type of hot garbage out of my diarrhea hole. But it's bad. It's really bad. WWE's product just has zero pop, zero appeal, zero cool factor to it. They need something. They need anything. And as a fan, I need something. And I need anything at this point in time. Something to help me get through it. I can't believe I'm actually going to say this. But thank God Brock Lesnar is back. The same guy that I remember stinking up the joint to high hell at WrestleMania 20 with Goldberg. The same guy that ended The Undertaker's undefeated streak at WrestleMania. The same guy that everybody bullshits about John Cena and his five moves of doom. Yep, if we get to Brock Lesnar's fifth move, let me know. The same guy that after all these years basically has the same shtick, the same gimmick with the same mouthpiece and still can't fucking talk himself. That Brock Lesnar. It's gotten that bad where now I'm legitimately excited for the return of this guy. The guy who was the champion but was never freaking there when he was the champion. This is the depths to which the WWE product has sunk today. This is the level that my interest has dropped in this product is when I'm happy that the part-time former UFC guy Brock Lesnar is back in the WWE. I mean, seriously. Because what else do I have to grab onto at this point in time? You, you look at the Raw shows on a consistent basis. It's three hours of wasted time, and most weeks I don't even watch every single segment half the time. I barely watch half the segments anymore. Terrible writing, poor character development, um, unfunny skits, just pointless filler garbage littered all throughout the shows, repetitive formatting, repetitive show structure, repetitive feud building with certain guys in certain ways, just no real purpose, no real direction to any freaking thing. You have a United States champion in John Cena who still can't actually bother to be bothered to do the right thing for business and not just the best thing for himself short term, which doesn't even help him short term or long term. You've got a roster full of very talented guys, in my opinion, that are criminally being underutilized and flat out misused. We have a Money in the Bank winner now in Sheamus that while it makes a lot of sense to me on the one hand that he wins Money in the Bank, I cannot deny the fact that the motherfucker bores the brakes off of me. A Divas division that blows in terms of the way it's featured and utilized. A tag team division that's non-existent in terms of its storytelling. I mean, this is just bad. And then you get the world champion and Seth Rollins, who feels like another cookie-cutter chicken shit heel, which the WWE always seems to like to do with their freaking heels. It's just... It's gotten so lame and so bad post-WrestleMania 31. It really, truly has. So now I can sit there and at least for a short period of time, at least for one segment a night, even if it's on every other freaking Raw, have some type of, again, reprieve from this boredom, reprieve from this stupidity, reprieve from this senselessness. I can at least look and say, hey, there's a guy that actually feels like a star. There's a guy that actually looks like a star. Here's a guy that's actually presented like a star. Here's a guy that actually acts like a star. Here's a guy that conducts himself like a star. Here's a guy that is a freaking star. You know, as a fan, I'm always attracted to star power. And God knows this company lacks for star power in ever-loving droves. So as much as I really don't like Brock Lesnar, as much as I don't get the appeal of the guy, as much as I think he's incredibly overrated in the ring in terms of from a pure wrestling standpoint, if John Cena has five moves to doom again, I ask you, what the fuck does Brock Lesnar have? 
the guy who can't talk, and just so many different things. I'm now happy to see the guy that ended Undertaker's streak at WrestleMania 30. That's sick. I'm in a weird place as a WWE fan. I thought this day would never, ever come. But when I sat there and saw him on Raw this week, even though the way they brought him out was kind of stupid, and the way they brought him out I thought was kind of underwhelming, it was at least the fact that you felt like something big was happening. You at least felt like something cool was happening. And God knows this freaking company on so many different levels lacks cool factor. Frankly, their characters, while talented, lack cool factor. Their storytelling has no cool factor. The product as a whole has no cool factor. At least you look at this big white gorilla looking vanilla motherfucker selling sandwiches on his shorts and everything else. And you say there's at least a little bit of appeal, at least a little bit of a fucking cool factor there. I just never thought that I would say, thank God Brock Lesnar is back. That even though, again, it'll be for a short time and then he'll go kick rocks for a few months and tell us to all go fuck off and he'll make a lot of money for doing very little. It's gotten that bad where I just need something. And this product desperately needs a short-term shot of adrenaline in the arm. They really do. And hopefully Lesnar's the guy to give it to him. Because this, this shit's just, ugh. I mean, you know, it just is. I'm sorry. Thank God, Brock Lesnar. Thank God Brock Lesnar's back. That's all I got to say about that. Yeah, it's gotten that bad.